Hey there, welcome back to learning TV paint for animation. In this section, we're going to be learning how to create a new project for an animation clip we're going to be working on throughout this entire course. So to start off, we're going to need to be opening a new project. To do this, we can go to our top of our toolbar menu and we can select file and we can either select new project or use the keyboard shortcut shift N. This also could be accomplished using the icon toolbar, the little white paper here up in the upper left. And as you can see, it's a new project or a keyboard shortcut. So we're going to go ahead and select this. And as you can see, a new little tiny window pops up and we have a different options here. The first one is a template. This template can be used as a preset template that you've saved that you're going to be using for your all your projects or animations. Or it could be a template that you've downloaded from a friend or a colleague that you think would work more better in your workflow. Or you can use the presets that come with this program and you can select those by click on the none. And you can see the basic various options that you can select depending on what your requirements are for your project. And our next option here is in our project tab. And this allows us to set the project size. As you can see, mine here is set to HDTV 1080. This is my standard default for all my projects. You can go ahead and change this. And these can be, um, these are just depending on either the quality or the output of the video that you require for. And our next option, we have width and height this is the size of our project that's going to be the output of our stage um, our next option is frame rate this is the set to 24 which is standard for all of my projects and which is also standard for the animation industry this too can be changed by selecting either um, 10 frames per second all the way up to 60 frames per second Depending on how many you use will determine on how many frames you need to draw in order to complete one second of animation. As you can see here, we have an oddball one. It's a 29.97 frames per second. This is the standard frame rate for film and video. Um, but for all purposes of animation, we use 24 frames per second. Our next option here is our aspect ratio. This aspect ratio it just determines the um, the viewport of what our output for our video is going to be. Standard U.S. is a square, and like European or overseas is NTSC or PAL. And of course, this is also determined on what your video output requirements are for your project. And then the next option is field. And what field is, is it allows you to render out either progressive, lower first, or upper first. And what this does is it allows the program to render out its lower first. It'll go from the, it'll render out from the bottom up of your stage. Upper first will allow you to render out from the top down or progressive is just it will try to render the whole picture each frame by frame and I just leave it at progressive and then you just select a new project and you go ahead and click it and a new project will open up as you can see once we once we select a new project button we have this new window and it's called our stage and this is you know where all our magic happens when we create our animation so remember when you're saving your project settings you want to name your file in such a way that you can keep your workflow organized and easier to recall for example if you have two or more shots in one clip you can name them jump one or jump zero two or something along those lines as long as it's something that you can remember and fits within the parameters of your project. TV Paint also has a great feature that is similar to, that to programs like Adobe Photoshop, where you can have multiple shots or projects open at the same time. 
And as we create each new project, you'll notice that there's a new tabs that appear on top of our stage. As you can see here, mine's highlighted under Untitled 2 Project and Untitled 1 Project. And it's as simple as going back and forth, as I'll show you. We can select and draw on one and come back and we can work on another project. So this is extremely useful when you want to work on multiple clips of one shot and you need to reference them for to time them together from one shot to another. Or if you're working on a project with another colleague and you want to see what updates they have so that you can incorporate them into your shot. And if you're done using this as a reference, you can go ahead and close each project tab as you wish to optimize the workflow of your project. And you can do this by selecting the next X of the project tab. And as you can see, the X is right here. And we can go ahead and close, I'll close out Untitled 2. And you'll see that Untitled 1 tab is the only one that is left. Next, I'm gonna demonstrate how we can set up our preferences for the main look and the function of our stage in the version of the TV Paint software. But before we jump into this selection, I want to point out um, an extra feature here is the help menu. And this is a help, most helpful for when you're just starting out or you're just trying to become more familiar with the options and the functions of TV Paint. There's a function called inline help, and this is pretty much present in most programs today. This is where you can hover over an option button and a window or a description of what it does or the action it will execute will pop up in a little window. This window also provides shortcut keys that are helpful in speeding up your workflow. And also these inline win help windows can be modified or turned off from the help menu preference window. As you can see when I hover over um, a tool It'll say beeline spline for this tool or our flood tool. And it gives us the keyboard shortcuts for each one of the tools that have the option. Again, this can be turned on using up here in our menu and under help. And we have the option of inline help and we can do none. And when we select that, nothing will pop up. And we can try short. And this is where I'll just give us a short description and also the keyboard shortcuts. Or if you need a little more information, we can go to full. And as you can see, it tells you what it does. It shows you how to use it. And it also gives you the keyboard shortcut. And the rest of our help menu, we have TV paint animation help. This allows us to go to the website and either view the tutorials on TV Paint, which are quite helpful from time to time. And also you can look at the downloadable TV Paint manual, depending on what version you're using. And then we have the option of what's new in this version. And this allows us to see what has been updated um, from previous versions of TV Paint animation. Uh, we have the online support, which allows us to check for our questions and answers, depending on if we have any problems that may arise while we're using the software. We also have check for updates, and this allows us just to, you know, see if the program either um, has some updates to fix glitches, bugs, or even if it's just some kind of functionality that has an update. Then we also have about TV Paint Animation. This just gives a little bit more information on the program and who created it. And um, you know, it's just general for general information. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this session. And in our next session, again, we're gonna demonstrate on how to set up our preferences for the main look and the function of our version of TV Paint.